Are you a current MBA applicant trying to figure out which test is better for you to take? The GMAT versus the GRE, which can get you a higher score into your dream school? We'll be answering all of those questions today in this video. Hi, my name is Ekta Kumar, and I'm a second year student at Cornell MBA. If you're new to my channel and new to my videos, welcome. I try to make videos about demystifying the entire MBA application process and trying to break into different financial careers. It's actually really weird of me to be able to say that I'm a second year now. I'm actually on campus today. I had a full day of classes and I'm here and I'm recording this <laughs> right now. Uh, we have such beautiful weather outside in Ithaca. It's like a sunroom where I'm recording. Uh, so I wanna make sure that you guys are able to pick the best test for you, whether it's the GMAT or the GRE. And without further ado, let's get into it. So a few years ago, I was actually in the same position as a lot of you guys. I wasn't sure whether I should take the GMAT or the GRE. And after a ton of research, talking to my friends and weighing my options between the GMAT and the GRE, I finally decided to go ahead and take the GRE. I've always considered myself for having strong verbal communication skills, and the GRE's verbal reasoning section made perfect sense for my skill set. Not only that, I thought it was accepted by a wide range of schools, and at the time, I wasn't sure if I was going to go for a master's in computer science or if I was going to go get my MBA, and the GRE made the most amount of sense for the choices that I was making at that time. And it all made sense to me. I mean, the GRE was really comprehensive to understand. Not only that, it was accepted by a wide range of grad school programs. So I was able to keep business school in the mix and also keep other master's programs as well as options for me. And this is something that I just couldn't do with my GMAT. But as I got deeper into my MBA application process, I found the schools that I really wanted to go to, like Harvard and Wharton, actually preferred the GMAT over the GRE. And I thought to myself, you know, did I pick the right test? Did I, should I have taken the GRE? Should I have taken the GMAT instead? Now, even though the GRE seemed easier in terms of content, I realized that a lot of the MBA schools that I wanted to go to had higher average GMAT scores for admitted students. So I may have inadvertently made my MBA journey a lot harder than it needed to be. But don't worry, I don't wanna just share my story. I actually wanna be able to help you guys to decide the difference between the GRE and the GMAT and pick the right test for you. So here is what you should do when deciding between the GMAT or the GRE. First of all, do your homework on your target schools. Some schools might have a clear preference of which test they prefer, while other schools might not. Some schools might also offer a test waiver. So it's better to take a look at the average statistics of the admitted students and also get in touch with the admissions officers to get an idea of what kind of preferences the school might have. Another thing would be to consider what your long-term goals are. If you're all in on business school, then go ahead and take the GMAT. It might be better for you to get a better and higher score and get into your target or dream school. But if you're considering other master's programs and you're not really all in on business school, then the GRE might be able to hold some doors open and allow you to keep your options open. So did I survive taking the GRE? Absolutely. But do I wonder if taking the GMAT might have boosted my chances a bit more to get into my target schools? Absolutely. At the end of the day, you have to consider your strengths and also research your schools to understand which test is right for you the GMAT or the GRE. So hopefully these tips help you decide between whether to choose the GMAT or the GRE and you're on your way into acing your MBA journey. And I wanna hear from you, which test are you going to be taking, the GMAT or the GRE? Put it down in the comments below. And if you like this video and you like all of my other previous videos that I've made so far, consider giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will go ahead and see you in the next one. Bye.